Welcome to Haseeb Electronics. Friends, in this video, I am going to share a practical experiment. I have a Samex hair dryer. It was not working. How I tested? I used multimeter. To check it, you have to set at ohm range check the continuity, check the resistance, connect both leads to the input cable, to the input plug. Now I will switch on, off to different positions and we will check reading. There is no reading. That means there is a disconnection inside the dryer machine. Friends, if you are visiting first time to my channel, then please subscribe. And if you are my previous user, thanks for watching. We will open this. We have two screws. I remove these two screws from the handle. It have only two screws. Open from the grip. Lift it, lift it up and there is a plastic lock carefully remove like this it is lock here and one lock here catches it is dryer fan blower fan two screws for locking the motor and the heater it have one dryer fan but one blower fan and the f in the front there is a heater this heater wire it have two elements one is for low heat and the second one in combination with both it makes full heat it have three connections one is common and one is level 1 and second is level 2 there is one thermal switch inside one is fan switch and the other is temperature switch remove the cable lock by this screw these are two switches we will test the first of all we will test the input power cable when we are going to test anything you have to test the input power cable maximum time you have problem in input power cable check the continuity connect one lead to one pin and the other lead to the input connector so it is working now from th this end to the power plug it is ok now we will test the switch we will shift the switch at this position it is working at the second position it is working with diode continuity now we will test the diode we will swap the leads because this 500 ohm it has it was coming f through the diode now it is working. Friends, I will give two links for different two channels. One is Aisha's Kitchen and Mehdi Design. And the second is Lifestyle with Hasher. If you want to support them, please check these channels. There is a thermal switch inside. We will check this one. We will connect one lead to the output and one lead to the cable. It is giving continuity, that means the switch is OK. Thermal switch is working. Now we will check the heater element. It is not working that means there is a disconnection in the heating element 
the common pin it is not reading anything we can see there is a disconnection for both leads both heating element springs we can see this one is broken this is disconnection here very nice you can see one line is disconnected disconnected from this pin and this line is connected from this side this heater element and this heater element these both are connected to the common line at the output stage of the thermal switch we have to make a ring we will connect a screw now we will connect a nut and bolt just make a twist like this and we will insert this one in the rivet in the pivoted rivet Slight, slightly adjust it it should not make a short circuit with the neighbor heating element spring when you make any connection make it secure now I am making the other twist to the other end of the wire we can see I made it a ring and now I am going to insert in the nut and install the bolt on the here yes now I will install the nut and the bolt tight it firmly it should be secured like this now make it a good routing the root must be separate it should be separate to each other <coughs> now connect it at Oham now we will test it you remember when I connected in the start there was no Ohmic value there was no indication now the circuit is complete we can see when I change different values of the switch it gives us a reading make it clear clean it if there is some hairs something make it clean adjust it if you think this video is uh, informative you can like and please write a comment how you find this video if it is informative for you you can write something adjust it put it this spring this spring is to protect the vibration of the heating element because when the blower fan it rotates the heater may be vibrate but when we install this spring it works as a shock absorber okay connect these two screws here I will give some links in the description for uh, two or three channels you can check these channels and uh, subscribe them and you will get also a positive response from these channels these are valuable and knowledgeable channels okay make it good routing we can see in the same way maximum time the cable is perished or the cable is cracked or the cable is disconnected you can replace the connect cable the power cable 
most of the time the power cable is faulty so you can replace easily using this method now we will check we can see using this multimeter at uh, high speed at high temperature low speed high temperature low speed low temperature you can check every indication Th there are speed selection and there is temperature selection so now we are getting all the readings now carefully first you have to connect the locks the plastic locks like this adjust it properly these are plastic rubbers carefully because it is plastic locks yes now now it is seated properly install the screws tighten them yes like this So, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. When you will subscribe, press bell notification and press notification for all. Oh, it is working. Perfect. It is working. We can see. Now I will close the inlet of the air. I will put my head my palm in the inlet I will close the inlet it is heat up and now we can see the heating element is going red so that means the heaters are working and we have hot air so it is working properly thanks for watching stay corrected if you have any question Please don't hesitate to write in the comments. Stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.